is about the farmers of the Kaira district of Gujarat in Bombay state. A district long known as the Garden of Gujarat. For many years, the farmers of Kaira, numbering more than a million with their families, knew only that this garden was poor. Of course, the women laughed as they worked, and the men who labored in the fields sometimes thought that better days might come. But today and tomorrow, there was only the monotonous rhythm of work and more work, and little reward. The women also thought that all their efforts were of little worth and saw little hope in the future. This patient suffering of the peasant was for long a characteristic of feudal India. So is the buffalo. The buffalo is part of the meager wealth of the farmer. So wash the buffalo, love the buffalo, take him home as you take a little child, for the buffalo is part of the family. Feed the buffalo. Maybe the buffalo loves you too. Work to feed yourselves and your children. Even the child works. If milk is wealth, there was no shortage of wealth. The truth is that the milk was not meant for the children, for the family. The milk was for sale. Because the money from the yearly harvest did not go very far, milk had to be sold to pay for daily needs. The fault lay not in the act of selling, but in the price that was paid. The milk that wasn't sold was turned into ghee or clarified butter. That too had to be sold for much less than its worth. As the daily round went on, and the family ate but never ate enough, the child that should have grown strong on the good food of the land was never satisfied. That is how it was. Malnutrition was accepted as a natural element of life. It is difficult to say exactly when the old things begin to die, and new things are born in the minds of men. But in the case of Kaira, there is a landmark. In 1942, Sardar Patel, one of India's greatest leaders, said, The dairy industry of Kaira district must be organized along cooperative lines if it is to thrive and develop to its fullest extent. These words were heard throughout Kaira, and they made the people think and talk. If the cities depend on us for milk, why should the middlemen take all the money? After all, it is our buffaloes that produce the milk. Why shouldn't that money come to us? Then, in 1945, the Bombay government started a milk scheme, taking milk every day from Anand in the Kera district to the thousands of homes in Bombay city. They needed all the milk they could get. The farmers, however, were not organized, and the middlemen continued to collect the milk. But you cannot kill a good idea, and finally the people of Kaira were ready. They decided they would refuse to supply any more milk through the middlemen, even though they had no trade union or funds to compensate them for their hardship. Of course, a few of the villagers could not resist the middleman's silver, but most of them refused to give in. For 
a while there was a stalemate. Eventually, the government agreed to buy the milk straight from the farmers if they would organize themselves to guarantee quality and a steady supply. Meeting among themselves, they decided that a cooperative was the answer, an organization in which each man had a share, an organization that belonged to all of them. And that is how the Kara District Cooperative Milk Producers Union was born. There was no problem with the selling of shares, for almost everyone bought them. They knew that this was not going to create a paradise overnight. There was still work to be done. The same work, but with a difference. Milk the buffalo, yes. Go and sell the milk, yes. But now all the benefit is for you. The fingers tell it is the same rich milk. But Suraj Ben, who once received two annas, gets a full round rupee today eight times as much. First, they leased a modest creamery from the government. Then, with national and international cooperation, they built a five million rupee dairy as modern as any in the world. Carried on the head or in a handcart, loaded on trucks, the milk comes to the dairy in Anand. Here, milk from the district is received, tested, pasteurized and made safe. to the RA milk colony in Bombay. Here it is repasteurized, bottled and made ready for distribution. Not all children can afford to buy milk, so the nearby cities of Bombay and Ahmedabad distribute free milk to about 80,000 children every day. Fresh milk from the cooperative. But there are many more undernourished children in India being fed with powdered milk imported by the United Nations Children's Fund. Because of them, the cooperative now has a powdered milk plant, a gift from UNICEF. For well, UNICEF decided that by helping countries to develop local dairies, more milk could be made available and its work could continue with local supplies. This plant was a start in India. And in return for this gift, the cooperative agreed to provide free milk for 20,000 children every day. With help from New Zealand under the Colombo plan, the cooperative installed the latest equipment to produce top quality butter. Altogether, the dairy can handle 300,000 pounds of milk a day. This great achievement has justified the faith of the Kaira farmers in their cooperative. The villages are still far from the modern way of life, but new ideas are beginning to take hold. The profits from the milk and milk products built silo towers to preserve improved fodder that means more milk per buffalo. No need now to take the buffalo to the distant pool. There are new drinking troughs with clean water. With the help of the Bombay government, the cooperative now operates a mobile veterinary dispensary that looks after the health of about 50,000 head of cattle. 
There is also an artificial insemination center, for it is essential to develop a good breed of cattle. The women of the village no longer have to haul up water from the well. They can have as much water by simply turning a tap. Now in the villages there are hospitals, libraries and schools. The child that yesterday worked to keep the home going, today studies and has a chance to think of things other than mere existence. A future farmer can have his own calf, learning the science of farming as he raises a prize winner. Farmer and his wife have discovered that milk, which began as a source of subsidiary income, is changing their lives, helping them even in their basic occupation, cultivation of the soil. There is still poverty and still needs are not satisfied. But progress begins in the mind, and the farmers of Kera now know that cooperation can lead to prosperity. For them, the Garden of Gujarat is becoming a reality.